know. I don't know. Hey guys, it's Holly Golightly. Welcome back to Perfumed Vegas. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my closet. Happy to be here. I hope you are too. Today is the first declutter of 2020. And I put that like very loosely because my collection now I'm really happy with what I have. So other than things I buy and immediately decide to get rid of because they don't work for me, I don't expect to declutter anything else. Um, but if you want to see what I did declutter, it's mostly indie perfumes and what I'm going to do with them. Just keep watching. I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. So yeah, I have this box. As you can hear, it's full of glass things and I've been really trying to keep them from not breaking or from breaking until I was able to film this video. I just have a few designer or affordable type of... Anyway, okay, so I have only a few um, designer slash like affordable perfumes. The rest are all from indie houses that I've either had for a long time and I need to find a new way to repurpose them or they don't work on my skin. So I'll show you the few designers, ones, designer, one, one designer, two kind of affordable type fragrances. Um, and then I'll show you the indies and I'll tell you what I'm doing with everything. It's not really, there's not a lot <laughs> going on here. So, oh, God damn it. Another fucking spell candle. Okay. So the most, probably the most interesting one is, um, I am going to go ahead and declutter Chloe Eau de Parfum. Um, I have tried to like this for a long time and I do like it in principle. I like the theory of it. I like the bottle. I like the packaging. I like the scent. I just don't ever want to wear it. I don't, that's the, with, that's basically what is with all of these. And that's why they're being decluttered. I just, I don't ever want to wear it. And so this one like is still in its box. It's like, it's new. I've, I've had it for a, a while, but it's new. Um, so it's going, it's going away. Goodbye. The second that is in that same category, this is Ombre Rose by Jean-Charles Bousseau. And Again, a beautiful fragrance, a lily rose, powdery iris type of fret scent that I just never want to wear. I mean, I put some, I, like I did put a little dent in it. I've only had it for about a year. Um, if I could feel like there was a time where I wanted, would see myself reaching for this, I'd keep it. I don't know if there's that time though. So again... Uh, the next one is Shock and Scent by Police. This is supposed to be a dupe for, um, Scandal. It smells good, but it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Um, and I just don't wear perfume that is this sweet. I kept this particular fragrance thinking that if I ever had, um, the itch to wear something very sweet and girly, like candy smelling, that I would have this and I could get like reach for this and not have to think about what I could maybe get instead. But I've never reached for this. I've worn it a couple of times, but I've never thought to myself, I want to smell that way. So bye. And then Zara pink flambe. Again, this is one I like, but just don't need. It's a dupe of something. I can't put my finger on it. Um, they've definitely duplicated something. I've used a good amount, as you can see, um, of the Zara fragrances that I got of the women's branded fragrances that I got, um, this and deep, deep, three hours later, deep garden. So pink flambe and deep garden were the only two from the women's line that I have kept that I ever purchased and slowly they're trickling out too. Deep Garden was only a 10 mil, so I'm using that one up. But this one, yeah, yeah, don't care. And then last but not least, I have a 15 mil body mist of Victoria's Secret Pretty Little Things Noir. I've had this for a thousand years. I'm not giving this or selling this. I'm throwing this away. 
it's totally gone off. It smells terrible. And I only threw this in on a, um, a Victoria's Secret order to get free shipping. So I'm going to put that in my empties bag, like literally right now. Cause that's gross. Then this one is not, this is not, um, indie, but I don't know where, if it's mainstream, I don't know where it came from. It was a gift with purchase with something. It is the Tokidoki Donatella rollerball, this tiny little rollerball. Um, it smells cute. Like it's pretty generic. I'll probably declutter Like I'll probably just toss this. I don't think it smells good enough that anybody's going to want it as a gift or any, for any reason, to be honest. So the indie house fragrances that I have are all going to stay with me. What I will be doing with these is utilizing them as hair oils. Um, this is what I do with all of my indie fragrances that are oil based that don't work on my skin or that I don't like the smell on my skin. So what I do is I just keep them with my collected with my hair stuff. And then when I want to, um, put some hair oil in, I'll either take this, the product directly and put a few drops in my hand and put it in the ends, or I'll like dilute it with a lighter oil. Um, the one I use now is from OGX. Um, I'll dil dilute it with a lighter oil and put it all throughout my hair, avoiding my roots. That's what basically keeps my hair from getting too dried out, uh, too frizzy. So that's what's in here now. I'll just go brand by brand. I'll start with Darling Clandestine because I do have a few. The first one I actually, um, uh, it looks awful because I was, I just tore the bottle apart. This was Baby Bankrupt from Darling Clandestine and I had gotten the bottle. Um, I received it with a broken top and I just never did anything about it. Uh, but I actually, when I finished up the rollerball of Angel that I had, I decided to just decant this into that rollerball because perfume oils do not decant into spray atomizers at all very well at all. The oil clogs up the atomizer, but they do decant into rollerballs easily and they work fine. So I did that. And so I actually am not going to be using this on my hair. I'm going to be throwing that away because I can now use it as a perfume, which I, I couldn't before because the cap, I couldn't open it. The next one, let me actually just get these. Okay. The next one I have from Darling Clandestine, I actually used the last time I put my hair up and I think it smells amazing in my hair is Our Hug of Death. This was a limited edition fragrance. It's a very berry heavy scent. It's patchouli and raspberry, but I just didn't like that berry scent. I just don't like berry scents in general. They remind me of when I was a teenager and I wore a lot of raspberry fragrance and it just makes me feel very kind of childish. This smells amazing in the hair though. So that's what that one's going to do. Vortex, this one I love during the winter, but I just, I don't use enough of it to use it up fast enough. So I'm going to start putting it in my hair and hopefully I will be able to utilize this before anything turns bad. And then two small vials that just don't work on my skin. Um, Hellbender and Cloud Swing both smell great, but not on my skin. They will go in my hair. The next brand, um, I felt actually really not great about doing this because these fragrances, this brand, as far as I know, is decommissioned that she's not coming back, I don't think. But um, these don't, I just don't use these fast enough and I don't like the way they smell on my skin. Well, for one of them, I don't like the way they smell on my skin. Um, these are all from the brand One Hand Washes the Other. Um, she's, I don't think that she's in, in business anymore. Um, I have the scent Boo Hag, which is a kind of musky, smoky scent. It goes kind of weird on my skin, but I do want to give it a, a good try in my hair. 
I have the scent Time Lord, which is a masculine fragrance. Um, if I could decant this into a rollerball, I would probably, um, and get, um, get my husband to wear this because I think it would smell really good, but it's just in this weird oil format. Not weird. It's just an oil. <laughs> but for, for somebody who's not putting on fragrance regularly, it's like, Ooh, do I want to mess with that with my hands and everything? It's a masculine leaning scent. And just for me personally, I don't like it on my skin. Uh, I did discover after multiple purchases from one hand washes the other, that their formula doesn't really work well with my body chemistry. And that can happen with indie brands, just like it can with any other perfume brand. And the last one is called Cicada Song. This is actually one that I was really, really like, I didn't really want to take it out of my perfume collection, but I only have this tiny sample and I still never wear it. It's like a green sort of minty, um, scent and I still never wear it. So I'm going to go ahead and move it and put it in my hair from the brand house of glory, which is a great starter brand. If you're just getting started with, um, like miniature, like the, like the indie, 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 indie brands, like very niche indie brands. Um, I have three, I have driftwood, which smells exactly like driftwood the ocean and wood. Love. I love, I love the smell, but it goes weird on my skin. It does something weird on my skin. Um, and also I have the scent gone hither, which is supposed to have a chocolate musk fragrance, but on my skin, I'm totally anosmic to it. I can smell it in the bottle, but I cannot smell anything on my body. So I'm hoping that if I put it in my hair, I will be able to smell that. The last one is called plotter's breakfast. And this is one that is kind of, this is one that's kind of, I'm not sure about it. If, if this, if I put this in my hair and I start feeling like nauseated, I will throw it away because this scent on my skin gives me the worst, just nausea not even a headache. Like it's not headache into it. I just, I feel, it makes me feel like I'm hungry. And when I get really hungry, I start getting like really sick to my stomach. And that's what this triggers is that sort of hunger illness feeling. So if the scent of this in my hair does that, I will have to throw it away. It doesn't do that. Yeah, it does a little bit. I might, I don't know. I'm, yeah. you might see this in a future empties video because I'll have to toss it, but we'll see. Uh, this is Wicked from Alchemic Muse. Uh, this is a great scent. I only have, I have no complaints actually. I was going to say, I only have one complaint, but I don't. I have no complaints because my only complaint is that it has a prominent apple note, but it did when I purchased it. I knew that going into it, right? It's called Wicked for crying out loud. It's ha it has a prominent apple note. Um, and I just don't like the scent of apple on my skin. So it's going to go to the heart. And then the last of my cocoa pink samples that aren't oil or black blood. Um, I have fear of ghosts. I have Myrtle's plantation. These were all from Halloween, obviously. And I have white veil, they're oil samples. And I don't like the smell of them on my skin. Cocoa pink has a base, uh, note or a perfume base that I just, it's hit or miss for me these were misses. Um, and so I have found that with Coco Pink for me personally, if I get their perfume and alcohol, I don't have to worry about the oil and the weird base co-mingling and doing weird things on my skin. So that is actually it. That's the declutter. Those fragrances, these, the indie fragrances I am keeping still, but they won't be in my perfume collection. I'm going to actually set aside in a empty candle container and have them set aside specifically for my hair. Of course, you know, I can always go to them if I want to, to wear them as a perfume, but they won't be in my collection as perfume anymore. I hope that you enjoyed, um, this little declutter. Um, like I said, I, I don't really have anything else in my collection. The ones that I pulled are all the very few, the last few perfumes in my collection that I was like, 
kind of feeling weird about and I decided just to do it and just to get rid of like get get them out of my collection move them on to better places so yeah everything else everything you see back there everything that's in my big old tub back here is all stuff that I love and that I will definitely be bringing out to use at some point so Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything, you can leave them down below with a comment or a like, or if you haven't yet, subscribe before you go, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!